Hello, hello. And welcome back once again to Sapienza, Italy. And today we're going to take care of the personal touch challenge. Uh, for this you will also get the Piano Man challenge. And for this you will need to bring a fibre wire or other equivalent. I actually have like quite a few of these fibre wire things now. Like earphones and fishing line and all sorts. I do believe any of them will work. But I've brought the traditional fibre wire with me. And as usual we're going to start at the beginning. And right off the bat we're going to hang an immediate right and make our way through the old town. Because we're going to need a melee weapon. And I don't currently have any in my inventory. Inventory even. So we're going to make our way through the town just staying pretty much to the right, the right hand route. All the way down. And eventually we'll come across a couple of uh, covered boats. And the one on the left here. Just sitting there on the prow is a wrench and that will do for us so continue on down through the old town we're making our way towards the morgue we're going to retrieve the laptop dongle for the virus so we're going to just walk into the morgue area close the doors behind us knock out the mortician and we're going to grab the church key unlock the door behind us and we're going to hide the mortician's body in the freezer now once we've done that, we're just going to jump up on one of these gurneys here and wait for the scientist to arrive. And she is carrying the laptop dongle and the biolab security access card we need. So here she comes now. I've cut out about a minute of waiting time there for you. Room secure. Leave me, Bernard. I, uh, I want to be alone. Ma'am. So once the guard leaves and the door closes, we're free to just jump up, <laughs> knock this woman out. So, now I have you to feel guilty about. Great. We build a weapon that will kill. And we're going to grab all of our stuff. Entering the ether lab requires a key card and a uniform. Luckily, it seems both are within reach. Alright, so that's the destroy the virus part objective already and set up. We're going to make our way now hey there, back through town, but this time we're going to go up the main street. And we're going to go to the ICA safe house. And we're going to enter into the mansion basically. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the ICA safe house neighbor's room. And he is starting his new job today as a waiter. So just at the top of the road, on the right here, up to the first floor. And this is the ICA safe house. We already have a key for it. So we're just going to run straight through the safe house, out the back. Jump up on this balcony. And then just in this room here, we have the waiter's outfit we require. So now with that acquired, we can make our way into the mansion. I mean, we could do it in our suit if we wanted to, really. But that's just making things unnecessarily difficult. So we're going to scoot along this ledge here and climb in through the pantry window. And we're now in the mansion. We're going to run straight through the kitchen. Down the side of the mansion here. And towards the observatory building. And we're going to lockpick our way into the observatory itself. We're going to, if he's here, we'll take out the guard who's on patrol just outside the observatory. Is he here? He's here. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to select our wrench. We're going to use instinct and we're just going to wait for him to be facing away from us. He does lean on the wall facing this door directly, but eventually he'll turn around and start playing with his phone. And that's when we're just going to open the door, throw the wrench at his head knock him out, hide his body, take his outfit and his gun and it's just so he's not in the way a little bit later on and we need his outfit anyway so he has to go so we're going to drag him into Francesca's room here take his outfit 
and then we're going to make our way up to the telescope in the observatory tower and just by the telescope we will find a VHS tape which we require now we're going to basically grab this tape put it in the VCR that's going to get Caruso or Silvio Caruso into the observatory room and dismiss his guards so this will get him totally alone which is why we're doing this because he comes into this room anyway but he has two enforcer guards with him so if we use the VHS tape he will get rid of the guards for us so once we've got the tape we're just gonna make our way back down the stairs and we're gonna stand outside the observatory door here because at this point Caruso and his bodyguards are in the room so we're just gonna wait for them to leave this does take a little while and once they leave we can place the v VHS in the VCR jump in the crate and hide wait for Caruso to show back up and dismiss his guards and then we can leap out and strangle him with the fiber wire and that will get us the piano man challenge so Caruso and his bodyguards have now just left so we're gonna make our way into the room insert the VHS tape in the VCR that's just behind all the monitors here select our fiber wire and go and plug ourselves up in this crate box whatever you want to call it just here so now all we've got to do is wait for Caruso to make his way back into the observatory he does pretty much turn around from wherever he is and make his way back in here so you don't have long as he's only just left when you put the VCR in but he's gonna stand around wondering why one of his old videos is playing He's then going to dismiss his guards and reminisce for a few minutes. And that's our opportunity to jack in the box, throttle him, hide him in the box, and move on. So the guards are just leaving now. You can see one of them's just gone out the front door there, one out the side door. So we're just going to casually walk up behind Caruso, strangle him with the fiber wire drag his body straight back to the box target down next up Francesca DeSantis so we're gonna make our way back out of the observatory using this outer door here because there is a bodyguard outside both the other exits so we've got to go round the long way but we're going to make our way back down the side of the observatory building and into the mansion house itself through the little side door just keep running straight through the doors past the maid right to the end up the stairs and then at the top of the stairs we're going to hang an immediate right and then another immediate right through the doors and then left through those doors and up the stairs again and we're going to make our way over the top of the building via the attic so we're just going to wait for this enforcer to turn around at this point if you want you can take this enforcer out and enter that little room there and take out the cameras if you are so inclined I really should have but I think I forget to do it so he's turning around now and we're going to make our way up the iron stairs and into the attic and through the attic and out the other side there are two guards in here so just be aware of them they shouldn't see you though it's nice and smooth in one door out the other we're now going to drop down onto this balcony just here and this will put us in Francesca's office or it might even be Silvio's office and because of the outfit we're wearing we're able to just walk straight into this office here and there it is Dahlia and her bodyguard now Dahlia is going to come and stand behind the desk and her bodyguard is going to move away over to the door at the far wall and face that wall okay. that will give us an opportunity it's only a few seconds but we can pull out our fiber wire strangle Francesca and dump her directly in the box behind us very very quickly so there you go that will get you the personal touch challenge 
And obviously the Piano Man challenge for doing the same thing with Silvio Caruso. The only thing left to do now is make our way back across the roof to the observatory, down the stairs to the basement to take out the virus in the lab. Now because we picked up the dongle right at the start of the level, this is not nearly as much of a chore as it can be. So we're just going to ex access the security door with the card we picked up right at the start. Select our trusty wrench, make our way down the stairs and to the right. And just as we come along under here, you'll see there's a guard. Lab. You made it. The virus prototype will be close by. Look for some type of quarantine unit. So when he turns around and walks back on his patrol, we're going to knock him out with the wrench, take his outfit, hide his body in the crate that's right there. Just like that take his gun as well just because it will look better with the outfit stash his body up in the crate so now we're going to go to the front of the ledge here and in the corner on the right is a pipe and we're going to scoot down the pipe and then up onto the roof of this storage unit or whatever it is I think it's actually the canteen and up on the roof here is one scientist and a laptop now, as soon as that scientist puts his iPad away and turns away from us we're gonna put the dongle in the laptop and that will destroy the virus and then we're free to exit the level come on mate and you got work to do stop checking Facebook so he's moved away now, so we're just going to insert the dongle in here, that's going to destroy the virus, and we're going to make good our escape, and because of the outfit we're wearing, we shouldn't really have any trouble, so we're going to make our way to the, uh, the airplane exit, but I'm going to take out the security cameras first, because when we pass on our way past this unit on our way to the aeroplane or the seaplane we will get spotted by a camera so we're just going to take the cameras out first and then we're just going to make our way straight over mind that enforcer there Amanda, I have nothing to report from my current location and uh, there's nothing in that box mate and here is the seaplane so there you go that's the Piano Man and a Personal Touch or The Personal Touch Challenge completed. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.